So what is ransomware? Ransomware is a type of malware that will encrypt all of the important files on your computer. Not just your system files, but I'm talking like your documents, um, it's gonna encrypt your photos, it's gonna encrypt your movies, it's gonna encrypt your music. Anything that you hold value, it's going to take away from you. And the only way you get it back is to either A, recover your system, or B, pay to ransom. And you see on this email, Martha Flowers was kind enough to send me an urgent oh, message. Oh, that's just like Martha. I know, just sending me some ur urgent message. So if we look here, we see that you know subjects urgent. It's very common for these types of attacks to use some basic generic um, subject lines in their emails. So you've got urgent, or if we come back, get my mouse to work. We come back over here. You could see you know hello. Here's a scan for your consideration. For your consideration, we're up for an Oscar. Yep. Apparently, yeah, that's what good. that's going for. I was expecting one. Insufficient funds. User agent. Uh, dear contact. All right, so to be fair though, I, I, it is dear contact, but also the name of the email account that's being spammed right now is contact at. Okay. So it that's would be dear tonight. first name yep. or, or whatever. Our accountant informed me that the that in the bill you pr pr processed, really? <laughs> okay, the invalid account number had been specified. Well, well gee, that's all right. Please be guided by Please be guided by instructions in the attachment to fix it up. I think that's what always gets me in these emails is they're, they're, they put all the effort in, but then it's the grammar and the spelling is never there. And I'm, a, <laughs> I'm about to do something you should never do, which is open this attachment and run the file. And I feel really horrible now that it, I mean, they couldn't even put in the effort to make me want to do this, right. but so it happens. Mm -hmm. Now, again, here on your right, this is our attached storage. Here on your left, this is our local document folder. So watch, we're gonna click it, we're gonna open it, and we're not gonna touch the computer at all. We're just gonna watch. Bam, all gone. Wow. And that's what it was. Uh, normally it's actually kind of quicker, but I mean still less than a minute and this yep. thing's encrypted. So what we have here is the uh, image that pops up and the image is instructions warning me that, you know, my laptop's been encrypted. Mm -hmm. It gives me a address to visit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's very we helpful pay. with these Wikipedia links, too, that they I have know, for you right? so you can get a little background history. A little history. background on what it is and yeah. what's going on. And then, of course, it automatically opened my browser for me. Mm -hmm. And it shows me that. Now, there's something else it did. I'm going to minimize some of this stuff here so you could see it. Um, again, this is our attached storage. Notice that all the files in it are encrypted. Mm -hmm. We're going to come uh, back here to look at documents. Again, every file we had, the Excel document, the image, the PowerPoint, all of it, it's all gone. Um, also notice the zip file yep. we had on there. Mm -hmm. So it encrypted its own malware. It's all gone, every bit of it. So what we've got, when we minimize this down, this is the backdrop or the background now on your computer. Yes. This is the address that's been set up for folks who've been infected to go and try to find out what yep. they need to do to recover their machine. So when you load this up in this little page here, it uh, tells you it's the Lockheed Decryptor mm -hmm. page. And what happens is it gives you all the instructions you need to buy Bitcoins, how to get Bitcoins. And it gives you the address wallet you need to send payment to, mm -hmm. which is right there. It also tells you how much you owe, three Bitcoins. Right. Bitcoin is a digital currency. Um, Bitcoin's uh, thing is BTC, so we're gonna go to BTC to USD and it wants what, three Bitcoins for us? Three, yep. Three Bitcoins is $2,234.94. Wow. So to get our files back, we need to spend $2,200. Hmm. 